The finals just got its brand new DLSS update, although there is some issues there that we'll talk about. I'll go over the exact process on how you can get DLSS 4, how to install the new driver set, and how to get that up and running when they do launch the full features. We'll also go over some community mentionables and updates there. Of course, with every Thursday, we got a brand new World Tour update, as well as a whole bunch more. What's up, world? It's Utopia back in with another video. Today, we're checking out all things the finals. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We finally got that new graphics and technology update where that comes straight from NVIDIA. Now, yes, I did talk about this yesterday with DLSS 4 and NVIDIA getting Reflex 2 with warp technology, as well as the finals just getting day zero support. Now, more than likely, there's probably not even a single person that's watching this video that got a 5000 series graphics card, as those seemed super limited. The stock there was basically insane. There's so many postings on Reddit from PC Master Race and a few other there's people trying to wait in line to get those. Only certain locations received so many of them, with most only getting 10, 50, 90s. And people on Best Buy or using Best Buy's website essentially didn't even see the stock pop up. And if they did, they were put in line, but essentially not able to proceed that. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff there. I'm sure you're getting bombarded with videos on that, especially if you're a PC gamer. But there is some great news there. It is that if you have an RTX card, essentially any 2000 series or newer graphics card from NVIDIA, you have access to most of the DLSS 4 features. Now, there are some limited ones there, like the DLSS 4 frame generation. That's only going to be to 4000 series or newer. Also, if you want the multi-frame generation, you'll only be able to do that on a 5000 series or newer card. And currently, Reflex 2 with Warp is also locked to the 5000 series or newer cards as of right now. But they are bringing that support to all cards or all RTX cards. So don't worry, you will get the Reflex 2 Warp eventually. Again, if you want a further analysis and a deep dive on all this, I did cover this in yesterday's video. Now let's go on to the process on how to actually get DLSS 4 as it's not just as simple as moving a DLL file. Now, a lot of people have been talking about that. Oh, we just replace a DLL file. That works for certain games. However, that does not work for most online games, as there is a bit of server-side and client-side stuff at work there. So you cannot just replace the DLL file. That has never worked for the final. You actually do have to do the full override through the NVIDIA app. Let's go over the step-by-step -step on how to get this. First up, you do actually need to update your game-ready driver. More than likely, you're going to pick the game-ready driver and not the studio driver. That is Update 572.16. Now I will include the game ready driver FAQ in discussion section. That goes over all the new bug fixes, the bug changes, and things of that nature. As always, it is normally recommended that you do a DDU or a driver display uninstall. Essentially, that will uninstall everything. I get a lot of criticism for this, but it is literally labeled here on the driver tools. You don't really have to if you don't want to. Of course, you can just head to the NVIDIA app or the GeForce Experience app and install the update that way. I myself always manually install my drivers through DDU. You will have to launch into safe mode and then you have to download the driver. Then you can install it after you've uninstalled. The reason why this method is always recommended is if you have any overclocks done to your graphics card, you should disable those upon reinstalling a new driver as there has been issues with MSI Afterburner and having a higher power output or a higher power maximum that it won't actually save. There's a lot of issues there, but again, if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you don't understand that process, you can just download the driver outright. There's plenty of tutorials online if you do want to do the driver uninstall method. I do it to avoid any problems that I've had in the past, although do note that it will remove all of your settings. So if you have any settings for specific game optimizations that you've applied through the NVIDIA app, or if you have any settings for the overlay or NVIDIA overlay, those will be reset upon doing a DDU. That's just a quick note there. Once you have the brand new driver installed, make sure you also do install the brand new version of NVIDIA app. Now this does come bundled with the driver whether you update through the NVIDIA app or if you download it manually. If you download it through the app, make sure you do also update the app through that by checking for updates. But if you do my method with DDU and you download via the driver or you've installed manually, that will actually come bundled and you can tick that option to actually install that or install the NVIDIA app. That is version 11.02, so you will need that specific version. I'll provide links to the driver download as well as the NVIDIA app download in case you do wanna do that manually as well as this thread here. Now, once we have both of those things installed and updated, you can now begin the process to actually enable DLSS. A few notes there, you should reapply your MSI Afterburner overclock if you have that. Also redo your settings in the overlay if you did the DDU, and make sure you restart your PC at least once after installing all of them, as it will not detect your games properly. I did this and it did not detect my game. Now that we have that out of the way, we can open up our NVIDIA app. 
you can head over to this three dot section and click refresh. Now, if the finals does not show up for you, you will have to add a scan location in which your finals is downloaded and saved to. Now, if you don't know for sure, you can head to Steam and hit properties, then click on installed files and click browse. That's going to showcase to you exactly where you have that finals installed. Now, two notes here. If you have the play test or the external test server installed like myself, that's probably very few of you, but there might be a few. You can actually check in the NVIDIA app which version of the finals by clicking into the finals section here and then clicking on the three dots in the top right corner and open file location. You should see the one only labeled the finals, not external test server or not the play test server. Again, that's only if you have those two installed. I have three versions of the finals here. That's why that mention is there. Okay, so now that we have the finals detected and maybe most or all of our games, you can then click into the finals section here. Now here's where the discrepancy comes in and the unfortunate part right now. So you'll see these three sections here under the driver settings when you scroll all the way down, you'll see DLSS override and it will list model presets, frame generation, and super resolution. If you click on the model presets, that will actually bring up all three settings that you can change here. Now the finals is supposed to be getting both the frame generation as well as the super resolution. They are currently not on the list for ray reconstruction. I do hope they update that eventually, but most multiplayer games aren't on the list for that. They are on the list for both here, and you can check that. I'll include a link to it down below, where you can see all games that are supposed to be getting this update, as well as what can be changed and which settings they have. The problem is, currently, it seems like there was an issue when they posted this. As of right now, you can only change the frame generation to the latest generation. Now, you won't get that multi-frame technology, which is labeled under the override section, but you will get this one that I have selected here if you are on a 4000 series or newer. All you have to do is click the drop-down box and click the latest section there. This did actually make a change for me. I no longer have screen tearing with my frame generation, so that's really cool there. Now, of course, it doesn't have ray reconstruction, but it's supposed to have super resolution. Again, unfortunately, there seems like there was an issue there, and the finals does not currently have access to the new DLSS 4, at least as far as super resolution goes. I haven't been able to get any word out on any of the devs or any updates there. Seems like nobody has been able to answer that. Even Oscar didn't really answer that during his live stream. There's been a ton of people in the finals Discord asking about this. Yeah, as of right now, it does seem like there's an issue, and this does seem to only pertain to the finals on that 75 or 70 for games list as even marvel rivals lets me select that change here and if i go to cyberpunk it lets me do all three changes as that's a game that's getting all three or four depending if you have a 5000 series graphics card so the finals is supposed to get the same changes or the same application there as marvel rivals but it currently does not have access to that super unfortunate there it was supposed to get day zero support so i'm hoping they do get that updated and addressed sometime soon here not sure what happened there or what kind of discrepancy went we don't have any word from the devs as of right now as you'll see there's even a post here saying can't override the DLSS transformer model. Yeah, super unfortunate there we didn't get that. But I will say as someone on a 4000 series or newer graphics card, that new version of frame gen is absolutely insane. I have zero screen tearing now like I did on DLSS 3, so I'm so happy about that. It's a really, really good version of frame gen. And I'm getting near 180 plus FPS on Kyoto. That's with full epic settings and ray tracing enabled. Now, if I do put on DLAA, I sometimes do drop around to 140 FPS, but in quality mode with DLSS, it is 180 to near 200 FPS. So absolutely insane there, and the game looks great. If you guys do have any issues on getting this installed and applied, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys out. I've also had a bunch of mentions and some comments on my last video that is pertaining to FSR 2 and FSR 3. Now, there's somebody in the community that comments on every single video, essentially asking for FSR 3. However, there has been another commenter, and this is a completely different one, that's been pointing out some discrepancies there and some misinformation. So they've been pointing out to other people that you can just apply FSR 3 into the FSR 2, or that it's just a quick DLL replacement, that is actually not true at all. In fact, there needs to be entire engine reworks in order to get FSR 3 from version 2. The reason being is that the FSR 3 model is placed on the game's engine, whereas frame generation from DLSS is done on your graphics card. So because AMD uses a software solution and does not have any AI or any of those cores, it places that frame generation entirely on the software version. So it is not simple to implement FSR 3 into FSR FSR 2, or at least to upgrade that. There has to be a ton of rework to the engine done in order to apply an update to FSR. The reason being is because of frame gen, because FSR 3 does have frame gen. So I wanted to point that out there as I had a lot of people saying you could just update it easily. They already have FSR 2. That is not the case there at all. FSR 3 is a much harder implementation. It is not a simple DLL replacement like NVIDIA does with their DLSS series. 
or in this case, even overrides via their software. Now that we have that out of the way, there are some last minute mentionables with the community here. First up, it does look like we are gonna be getting some new Twitch drops soon. As this thread points out here, someone did, or a moderator did comment over on the finals page in their Twitch channel, said soon TM under reply here asking for any new drops. We might be getting some Twitch drops very soon here. Again, not totally confirmed, but some rumors overall. During that live stream, Oscar did tease that this is a pretty large update, saying that they looked at an insane amount of weapons and they also looked at cash out. So it looks like those are gonna be the two primary things that they're gonna be focusing on for this update, but it seems that they looked at nearly all weapons there. So we might actually see a massive meta shakeup. We'll have to wait and see though, that was really the only small teaser we got from Oscar during stream. Now one other last minute mentionable here is Rob from Embark, who is the CCO, the founder and CEO at Embark, said he would stream if he reached a thousand followers. Now I did cover this in yesterday's video and we almost got him there. Currently, he is at 965 followers, so he only needs 35 more followers and he will actually stream. Or at least seemingly so, as he said he would. So if you guys want to, go ahead and follow him on Twitch. I'll include a link to it down below and probably pin it. Also, of course, we did get a brand new World Tour update, where we saw four arenas this week, Kyoto Winner, Seoul, Monaco Winner, and Las Vegas. Now, they are calling this one the Classic Cash Out. However, as Oscar does point out here, they probably should have just called it standard cash out and not classic. As a lot of people, even from these comments here, thought that they were going to bring back different things, either LTMs and different play styles. So we didn't get anything classic really with this World Tour update. It's just the normal World Tour. Also, last, last minute mentionable here is I did run a giveaway over on my Discord. It still has three days to enter for both level one roll and a non roll. To get level one, it's fairly simple. Just chat around a little bit. There is a cooldown timer there, so please don't spam as that will not work. It really is only a few messages, but you can feel free to chat it up in there. My Discord does seem fairly active lately. Also, if you guys want to, you can post to the finals runway and get your feature in one of my videos. So it could end up on the star models page and then be featured here. Overall, it should about cover for today's video. If you like, like, and subscribe, and until the next one. Deuces!